Hello, this is Pamela. Welcome to my channel. Grab you a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, and enjoy some good old yarny talk. Hello, this is Pamela, and you're on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. Welcome to my channel, and I am so glad to have each and every one of you. Well, today's video is more of a, like a happy mail, and um, I've done some Amazon shopping, <laughs> and I guess some Hershner shopping, so... Um, Let's just dig right in. Um, okay, so for the first thing, before I show you that, I want to let you guys know that I did get the tutorial created for the Jenny Lynn sock, but I can't seem to get it downloaded from the um, editing software app um, to the phone so that I can upload it to YouTube. So, but I do have it. Here it is. I did all that hard work the video, the tutorial is only like 34 minutes and yeah, I just, I have deleted basically every app that I can delete off of my phone to make room for that little 34 minute video. And, um, I, I even deleted all my photos guys. I mean, everything. So I'm still working on trying to get this. So we'll see. I'll keep you updated when I do finally get it through. Um, so that was that, and I just want you to know that I do have a giveaway coming up pretty soon, so be sure and watch for it. It is going to be for this squirrel's hook, and it's a 5.0, and that's what we're going, I'm going to be giving away, so look for that video. Okay, so, um, I'll start with my Happy Mail because, you know, who doesn't like Happy Mail? <laughs> I'm so tickled whenever I get a notification that says you've got something in your mailbox. And so, yeah, <laughs> uh, what can I say? Um, thank you very much. Um, <laughs> um, I'm just so excited. Anyway, so today, um, I had gotten a letter from Brian Minnie and, um, so it is just, it's really cool. She gave me this really sweet note. Thank you, Bryn, so much. Hello. <laughs> um, thank you for watching my channel and thank you for all the comments and things that you leave. Uh, she is a su subscriber, a Yarny friend, and um, she leaves lots of comments and she's very active on Facebook and in the YouTube community. Um, and I just appreciate her so much. And uh, so she gave... It came with this cute little card. Isn't that a pretty little card? Um, oh, I thought it was. And this beautiful handmade crocheted um, bookmark. Look at that. And I uh, sent her a message and told her, thank you that I am an avid reader. So, and so is my daughter. I mean, my daughter, both of us, when we buy a book, we don't throw it away. Um, I even have a hard time throwing away my Hershner's and my uh, Premier and Mary Maxim little catalogs that they send me in the mail. Um, I have a hard time even throwing those away, you know. So, yes, I love it. It is my first crochet bookmark. I've always wanted to make one and just never really got around to it. And so now I don't have to because she made this and so this is the one that I will use. Now, of course, when my daughter sees it, I'm probably going to have, going to, have to make her one <laughs> because she, like I said, she actually even reads more than I read. So that's probably why she's still in school. I don't think she'll ever quit school. I mean, this girl's going to go to school her entire life <laughs> because, you know, she's just one of those kind of people. She likes reading. She likes books and, you know, I like all that too, but not the school part of it. <laughs> But yeah, so thank you so much, Brian. I appreciate this. From the bottom of my heart, this really does mean a lot. I'm so tickled over this. Okay, so the other thing that I did, I was at the Dollar Tree, Christmas is coming, so I just, maybe it was a Dollar General. It was probably Dollar General, I can't remember now. Anyway, it was a dollar. I think it was Dollar General. And um, Angelie, Hello, she is from Arkansas. She has a channel called The Crochet Mouse, and I just love her uh, videos. I love all the things that she makes. Well, she was talking about this little uh, bag that she had bought, and it's kind of a big bag, but it's to put, um, like, when you're working on blankets and things like that for your bigger project, 
And I happened to be at the Dollar General and I was looking uh, for some Christmas stuff. Well, not for this tree. What am I saying? Some Christmas ornaments for the tree in there. And uh, just to see if they had something, you know, in my taste. Well, while I was there looking, I come across the Halloween stuff was marked down. And guys, I thought about what Angelie said. And so I bought me one. They were half price. So I paid a dollar fifty for this drawstring bag. And even if it is Halloween, it doesn't matter. My big blankets that I'm working on and stuff would fit right in there. And I can carry them around. So my Dollar General, um, actually it wasn't my Dollar General. My Dollar General was closed because it said the registers were down. So I had to go into the next town to that Dollar General. But I got this one too. <laughs> so for a dollar fifty, I thought, well, I don't necessarily need two of them right now, but I wasn't going to pass it up. And you guys know what I'm talking about. You can't just pass it up. So I went ahead and grabbed it <laughs> as well. <laughs> but yes, this will be perfect for um, when I'm working on my blanket. Thank you for that suggestion, Angela. That I, I was like, yes, that is a great idea. So anyway, so I grabbed those two. Um, I did get my Amazon, Ella from No Catchy Name. Now, she has a channel too. Hello, Ella. And she had this, um, on, I think it was her community post. You know, she does amigurumi. I do amigurumi. I love amigurumi. She did this post um, saying that they had these eyes and stuff on um, sale and um, on Amazon. And I don't know if it was like a one day deal or what it was, but they're really, you know, these things, I think they were on sale for like $7 or something. And um, the regular like $18.99. And so, I don't have this kind of eyes and stuff. See how they have the blue up there and the red and they got the green. I don't have this set. So, I was so excited. Thank you, Ella, so much for sharing that with us because I would have missed out on this deal. And I really do need these. So, I really appreciate you sharing stuff like that with us. Um, and then here it came with the backs. That's the only thing I'm disappointed about is that my other case... It has all this, and then it had another section back here, you know, another row, and it had all of these in it, you know. So, that's the only thing disappointing about this is that these are separate. But, you know, for that price, I can deal with it. I can live with it, you know. Anyway, so I am very excited. So, what I did is I went ahead and since they're in parts, I just put them in one of these Ziploc baggies right here because of that. Because I didn't want to lose all of these right here. Now, these I will put in something else. Well, I may not have to. It looks like they probably go back really good. Yeah. See, you can take and remove that and it sticks back. So, I probably won't have to transfer this into anything else. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to keep them in that. And then, of course, you know, they give you this little thank you card. But this was a really good deal. So, I'm really tickled over that. Okay, so the other thing that I got, let's see. Oh, my Mary Maxim. I did get this. It's kind of, it's really cute. Um, I'm not too thrilled with the yarn they sent me. I mean, really, guys? Um, this is pretty. This is just bland. It's not pretty colorful as it is on the picture. But, um, oh, well. <laughs> Two hats and a scarf. So, I'm pretty anxious to get to try that um, yarn out because it is yarn I haven't tried before. So, um, you know, especially this. I have not tried this. Look at that. It's crazy looking. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of... Well, it's over there of uh, that other yarn I bought. This is called Vintage Retro. It's a five bulky, 230 yards, 100% polyester. And um, it feels pretty good. You know, I do like it. I like this a lot. I love the colors of it. It's this right here that there's nothing wrong with the color. I would just have liked to have had something a little bit more vibrant. I haven't heard of this brand. It's called Peruvian Alpaca. And it does feel good. 
Let's see what it says. 20% wool, 20% alpaca, 10% mohair look, 50% premium. I think it's supposed to maybe say acrylic, but it's spelled A-C-R-I-L-I-K. It sounds like acrylic to me. <laughs> um, let's see. Did I say it's um, 100 gram? It doesn't tell me like what weight it is. Um but I'm looking. I don't know. But anyway, so I get three of those. Let me see if the instructions might say what it is. Um, it just says the Peruvian alpaca is 109 yards. So I think it's considered a five bulky as well. So... Yeah, there it is up close. Not bad. Um, I did not look up um, what these cost individually. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. But I love Mary Maxim because I like trying new stuff, um, new yarns and things like that. And that's one reason why I stay with them is because they do give, you know, good yarn. <laughs> um Anyway, so I guess that's all that I have for now. Um, I just wanted to show that off. Uh, thank you, Brynn, for the bookmark. Thank you, um, Angelia the, from the Crochet and Mouse. Thank you uh, for uh, the tip on the bag. And thank you, Ella, for posting it on your community page on YouTube about the sale that they had on those eyes. I appreciate that very much. And... Um, Okay, so I'm going to end this video with a um, 365 days of prayer. <laughs> I hope you guys are all having a good day. Um, my weekend was really busy, uh, just like I'm sure all of your, you guys. Mine was mostly busy with that tutorial. Um, I think I wasted an entire day. Okay, so our 365 days of prayer says, um, Pursued by Goodness. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. That's in Psalms 23, 6. Lord, thank you for your goodness and for the assurance in your word that with you as my shepherd, that goodness follows me wherever I go. What a beautiful image, being pursued by goodness. I can't help but consider how often I must appear to be trying to outrun it as I chase after the things in front of me, so many of which are not from you. My prayer today is that I would slow down enough to be overrun, that I would turn around, arms open, and fling myself wholeheartedly into your goodness. Let my peace be such that I can feel you always at my back. How can you sense God's presence following you? So, yeah, so there's our little Bible uh, scripture thing for the end of our video. I hope you guys have liked that. And I would just, like I said, want to say thank you for everyone. Thank you for... Um, all the comments that you guys are leaving me, I am loving them. Um, I have not got to respond the last couple of days to quite a few of the comments because of this tutorial. It is like over, it's just consuming my life trying to get this thing edited and downloaded. And I don't know why, it's just a simple sock. Just a simple sock. I mean, goodness, I've done harder tutorials than that. <sighs> anyway, so I just want to say, I will get it worked out, guys. I am not a quitter. I will get it worked out and I will get it posted. So I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.